Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to show you how we can easily use another layer. So the first thing you want to do is just click here sign up and then you will get right here to full name. So I'll simply add Marcus Stonelius, company name, work email and then number of employees and I agree. Then you would press next here, organization ID and then you would have a confirmation code. So now you just will like wait here, email confirmation and I will simply copy it and paste it and then I have to add a password. So confirm password. So right here, thanks for signing up Marcus Tonelius. Uh, so here's what you can do, active note now by choosing subscription plan or invite members uh, and set up your teams. So here if you want you can simply choose a plan. So you can click like advanced here or custom or basic and then you would click get started right and you would fill everything else here. So this is how you can uh, do that. Now you get also option uh, build a team and here you would simply click here invite a new member and then you would simply add an email address and then also uh, assign to teams optional. So you can simply invite people here. Then under network you have you can have gateways. So and then servers and I'm going to show you what you can do. What you can do is you can simply click uh, create private gateway. My own gateway let's say. And then you can simply click on it right. And when you're going to have it you're going to have teams and servers here. You can always edit the gateway and then you're going to have servers. And you would click simply add the teams to gateway. And then you would have servers right here. Then you're going to have activities. So you're going to have like connections here. So member email like all of those happening and then actions. So all those happening on an account. So then you can have also the settings here and you're gonna like login methods that you can enable uh, like email and password and also the security configurations. Auto app updates, biometric verification, thread block, shared gateway, and then you can click download and you can easily download Nord layer for Windows. So this is just like introductions to Nord layer and how you can use it. So if you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you and provide you some guidance and support. You know how it goes and how it is. And that's pretty much it. So thank you very much and have a great day and goodbye.